In this video, we shall learn how to complete the square on quadratic expressions of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This process is very similar to the case where a equals 1, which was covered in the last video. There is just one extra step we must do at the start of the process. In order to introduce the term in brackets, the square, we need to somehow get rid of the a in front of the x squared. Hence, we start by factoring out the a. We do this by dividing every term in the expression by a and then writing the resultant expression in square brackets with an a outside them. ax squared divided by a gives us x squared. bx divided by a is b over ax and c divided by a gives us c over a. We put this in square brackets and add an a outside them. Hopefully you can see that this is equal to the expression above. Now, we complete the square on the expression in square brackets as we did in the previous video. So, we introduce a bracket and inside we write x plus. Well, we need to divide the term in front of our x term by 2, but instead of b, we now have b over a. So when we divide this by 2, we obtain b over 2a. We square the whole bracket. Next, we subtract the square of the non-x term inside the bracket so in this case, we subtract b squared over 4a squared. Now, we add c over a. Finally, we can now multiply the a back through the expression. So we obtain a times x plus b over 2a all squared minus b squared over 4a plus c. We have now finished completing the square. In summary, the process is factor out the a. Divide each term in the expression by a and then enclose the expression in brackets, writing an a outside the brackets. Inside the new brackets, introduce a square term by dividing the b over a term by 2 and adding it to x and then squaring the whole expression. Subtract the square of the b over 2a term, i.e. subtract b squared over 4a squared, add c over a and finally multiply the a back through the expression. So let's look at an example. We're asked to complete the square for the quadratic expression 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So first, we divide everything by 3, which gives us x squared plus 2x minus 3 times 3. And now we insert a bracket. x plus 1 squared minus 3 minus 1 squared, which is 1. So we have that 3 times x plus 1 squared minus 4. If we want, we could write this as 3 times x plus 1 squared minus 12.